In the grounds of Parliament House, two gift ambulances are handed over to the Royal New Zealand Air Force. One is the gift of an Australian firm, the Auckland staff of which shared in the cost. The other, raised by public subscription, is a memorial to Sir Charles Kingsford Smith. The Prime Minister, Mr Fraser, formally accepts the gift and says he hopes it will not be necessary to use the ambulances often in New Zealand. One ambulance is a tribute to a man who did much for aviation in this country. The other is an indication of the spirit that links industry with our fighting forces. Both are worthy gifts to our growing Air Force. A modern army must have mechanized units, so our army must have them too. Here are Bren gun carriers going straight to the army, as fast as they roll off the assembly lines of this New Zealand factory. And here's the Honourable F. Jones, Minister of Defence, to receive one that came as a present from Payatua. This resident of Payatua started an appeal. The result, another Bren gun carrier for the army. The inevitable small boy is present just to show uh, his interest. It's a big day on this wharf in the Middle East today. A big day for some of our lads. They're going home. Not in the way they'd like to be going, perhaps, but certain that they have done their share. Every attention is theirs now. Every attention that we, by our efforts, can give them. They don't need labels to know where home is. And they've still got a smile and a cheery wave that Hitler couldn't beat. Now it's over the water and home to New Zealand. After many weeks at sea, these members of the Women's War Service Auxiliary excitedly crowd the rail of the ship that has brought them to the Middle East. But this is no pleasure cruise. First, they learn something of the work that lies before them. They've come to do a real job. A last inspection by the matron of the ship finds them just as smart and efficient as the army they've come thousands of miles to join. And they're just as determined. Behind what looks like a woman's typical last minute rush, there's a grim purpose, but it's covered with a smile that will go with them to the special job the army has waiting for them. It's land again, work again, and good luck.